actually writing music mm -hmm. and writing conscious good music for that matter and I'm still in the process of uh, just trusting the process. Mm -hmm. uh, now I can say from where I am, it's really promising. It's promising. Yeah. But at times I feel like people just blow up with one song and mm -hmm. then now they don't know the essence of the process. You and you're not a too. Then again, you know, we are living through different conveniences. There are yeah. people in here who work on advantage of resources. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they were born from well-off families, mm -hmm. you know, and then there are some of us who came from the village. Mm -hmm. So the, the grass cannot be entirely uh, level, mm -hmm. the field cannot be entirely level for, for everybody. Everyone. Yeah, so uh, on instances whereby an artist from the village can encounter financial constraints or mm -hmm. financial inadequacies, mm -hmm. so another artist can be able to afford quality audio, quality video, mm -hmm. and you really have to work your way up. Mm -hmm. until you can be able to afford that mm -hmm. yeah and like uh live alone there are quality video mm -hmm. audio there's also live bands and yes. i understand you've done a lot of those um, yes. in, in in clubs mm -hmm. in places where people are gathered mm -hmm. talk to us about that how is the reception of music it being live uh, performing in a live band in, other than just yeah. taking a music video and releasing it initially selling live music used to be a, a hard nut to crack mm -hmm. initially live music wasn't so acceptable and you can tell even from the the inception of things like afrobeat then came gangeton those are not live music mm -hmm. and uh, you know in mziki hype and people come up and mziki share but then i can say that then happened covid mm -hmm. when covid happened now you know clubs zili zili funga and now people are looking for inspiration. So many people are battling mental health issues and people are looking for message. Mm -hmm. And now COVID forced people to sit down and listen to good music. And I can say without a fear of doubt mm -hmm. that uh, we are at a very interesting point in our lives whereby now live music and good message music is very acceptable. And you can tell by the likes of people like Ethan Mziki, mm -hmm. uh, Charisma, those are people who are doing live music and they are really pulling uh, great strings. So actually, yeah. actually, it is, it is yeah. like people are embracing Yeah, people it. are embracing live music. Okay, mm. let's talk about your music. Uh -huh. Do you have anything for us this year? I've seen the, the, the voice one, you and Nice, yes. Kwako Nyombaini. Uh, How was that for you, just working with your best friend? It, it was beautiful because yeah. that, uh, uh, we just wanted to write a song that describes the situation that uh, every day-to-day -day situations in our lives, mm -hmm. as love birds, as best friends, even as family. Yeah, so it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't a very hard nut to crack for us. Writing that song was a very beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. mm. So we expect more of that? Yeah, you can be expecting more of music from Letting, mm -hmm. music from Halisi the Band, mm -hmm. of which I'm a half a member of mm -hmm. Halisi the Band. When you talk about being half a member, yes. what are you saying? Yeah, no, I mean, um, I'm, I'm a member of Halisi the Band. Uh -huh. it's, it's a gentleman duet. Mm -hmm. So one of the other half of the band is... Mm -hmm. Is, is away okay. and could not be here today okay yeah so uh talking about being in a band and also doing solo music mm -hmm. how is that no it's interesting eh? mm -hmm. uh, the, the the beautiful thing about the mo the, the halisi model is that mm -hmm. it allows you the liberty to express yourself as an artist mm -hmm. and explore your individualistic um, talent mm -hmm. 